I want to bring in now Eddie Weingart. Eddie shot this great photo of the Pope in the Pope Mobile today. Eddie, tell us about how you got up close and personal. Uh, well, it was really fantastic when he was making the initial appearance at Catholic University of America before he went in and got vested. He made a pass by, and unfortunately, he was looking away from everybody that was in my side. And ironically enough, he went down and made a U-turn and came back and got a, a great pass by us. So we got up close and personal with him, got a wave to him. It was really fantastic. We just saw such a diverse crowd of people today in D.C., uh, and in the surrounding areas, people traveling from across the the country, really, to see the Pope all for different reasons. What was yours? Um, for me, you know, the, the Pope has really had what a lot of people are determining uh, that the Francis effect. And he's really had a Francis effect over my heart. Um, so I really wanted to be there um, to welcome him with open arms um, as a Catholic um, and as a, a person of faith um, that just is really impressed and um completely heartwarmed by the message of, of the, the gospel truths, um, the inclusive message that he sends out to so many of um, the people in the universal church. What does that mean to you? I mean, you're saying that uh, he really ushers in a different type of papacy, if you will, but to you that has special meaning. It, it does in the way that I feel everybody is called into the circle and into the Holy Father's embrace you know, with um, so much of his predecessors, we really saw this pomp and circumstance of the papacy. And this is a real pope that comes to us. He, he lets down the guard and he embraces the people. Um, he lives like the people. And in many of the people that he evangelizes to, the poor, the vulnerable, and the ostracized of this world, um, he steps down from his platform um, and he comes at their level. And it's a very human and it's a very real experience. And um, I felt that in flying colors today. And seeing him in person, does that kind of, uh, is that a way to support what he's doing? Is it, uh, is it more than just uh, seeing a rock star? It does. You know, a, a lot of people kind of word it, and I guess I would too, that it's kind of like getting close to God. Um, you know, it's... Um, you, we've seen the, 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 the press just really surrounding him since he was elected about three years ago. And um, to see him up close and personal where I live um, at Mary Shrine, where I go to quite often and, and worship, um, it was just a very real experience. It was really incredible, almost without words um, that I could give to it. Um, in a sense, it uh, really felt like... Um, you know, I was a pilgrim, um, even though I was only journeying about five miles to, to see him. I, I felt like I was almost in a way traveling um, to Rome to see him. And it was just, a, it was an incredible experience. Your photos have been shared uh, quite a bit, kind of taken on a viral nature. Kind of exciting for you? Yeah, it's definitely cool. Um, you know, I love Instagram, but it, it, it's really great to put these photos out of that very special moment for all the world to see. Do you think, I've heard many times folks refer to this Pope specifically as the Pope for this generation. We've seen a lot of change across the globe towards inclusion in the Catholic Church. Still some things that are uh, hotly debated, but uh, do you think that this Pope is ushering in a new way of thinking, or at least a reformed way of thinking for the Church? Um, definitely. He, he has a lot of the same characteristics as John Paul II, hmm. except he doesn't really have that very rigid stance that John Paul II had. So he takes that, that humanness, that realness that John Paul II has, and he brings in this new ushering of evangelism in the church, this inclusiveness, um, reaching out to the homeless, um, reaching out to people of other faiths, especially Muslims, reaching out to LGBT Catholics. And um, that is really real. And there's so many people that I talk to on a daily basis um, about Pope Francis that really feel that they are finally being welcomed back into the fold of the universal church. And that's what we're seeing across the board on social media, folks embracing him in a new way. Listen, I appreciate you sharing your thoughts and uh, keep taking those pictures. You're doing a good job. Uh, thank you.